Welcome to National Sports Chat. This your man, Ken the Guru. You're now tuning in to my take. And before I give you my take, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get it. What's up? This is Ken the Guru. And I, I want to talk about Lomachenko. And I want to say, why do people like Lomachenko get a pass for ducking? Everybody want to say that he's good. They want to say he's this. But then when it comes to true competition... They don't want him to fight a person like Devin Haney. So then you would say, who has Devin Haney fight? And then I will have to ask you this question. When Lomachenko had only two fights, one fight actually, who did he fight in order for him to be eligible or deserving of a title shot? So now... When we talk about Devin Haney, at least Devin Haney has over 20 fights. So, despite what you guys say, what he's deserving of, he wants to make the fight. And y'all talk about, oh, this guy hasn't fought anybody. Well, he's trying to fight Lomachenko. And we all know that he hasn't fought anybody. It's cold words for, I don't want to see the fight. Because I know that Devin Haney is going to beat Lomachenko, we already know that. Y'all talk about Floyd Mayweather would have lost to Lomachenko. Guess what? We got somebody who fights just like him. He's very similar to, to Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather basically trained this guy. And he, you know, gave him the ins and outs. So if you want to see how Lomachenko would have fared against uh, somebody like Floyd Mayweather... All you got to do is make the Devin Haney fight. Devin Haney is still young. Like he said, he want to fight Lomachenko when people's not saying that he's old. Because we already know that's the excuse that they're going to make for him. Oh, he's older. He's this. But did nobody say that? When Floyd Mayweather was 37 years old and then he fought a Canelo Alvarez. Nobody was talking about how old he was. And Lomachenko ain't that yet. And so what is the problem with Devin Haney trying to fight a, a, a great caliber of fighter? Now, I'm not going to give Lomachenko Hall of Fame status. I'm not going to put give him all-time great status. I'm not doing that. Because to me, he only fought one Hall of Famer. One all-time great fighter. And that's... Gil Marigadal, and he didn't even want to fight him at a catch weight. He basically took um, Gil Marigadal to uh, deep ends, you know, and then drowned him. But he didn't want to make it even. He didn't want to do any of that. He didn't want to um, fight Gil, Gil Marigadal at his best. He didn't fight Nicholas Walter at his best. He fought Gary Russell, but he didn't dominate like that in, in a fashion that people believe that he did. He lost to Orlando Salido, which means he showed that he can be defeated. There's a style out there that shows that it can defeat Lomachenko if you fight this fight. But with Devin Haney, you don't even need that type of style. I, I believe that the style that Devin Haney has in, in the type of caliber of fighter that Devin Haney is, I believe that he runs circles around Lomachenko. I believe so. Some people might get mad just for me having this opinion, but I truly believe it. And the only way that we can see who's right is by making the fight. So don't sit there and say, who has Devin Haney fought? Don't say that. Because when you say that, it delays the fight and it gives the fighter a, a, a outlet. Because Lomachenko already stated that he wants the fights that the fans want. Okay, if you clamor for that fight, guess what? The fight will happen. And you will see Lomachigo get the brakes beat off of him. And I'm standing by that. And if that doesn't happen, I will give Vasily Lomachenko all the props in the world. And I still give him somewhat of the props. But basically what he's doing is the same thing that Canelo is doing. Going to the division and not fighting the best people that's in that division. He's not doing that. So... He's getting ready to fight Telfimo, 
Lopez, but I think Teofimo is actually a good enough fighter. So I still give Vasily Lomachenko, um, you know, props if he beat him because he's a young, hungry fighter. He just beat Comey. Uh, Lopez is is on the rising. He the only thing that I would say that Lopez uh, lacking is experience. So the fact that Vasily Lomachenko has a little more experience, far as uh, fighting the type of fighters and caliber fighters, you know, he has a little more experience from that aspect. But I definitely think that uh, if he stays focused, that Telfimo Lopez can definitely pull it off. If not, I know Devin Haney can for sure pull it off. So I'm not saying it because I want uh, Vasily Lomachenko to just lose. No, I just want people to have him prove exactly what they say he is because he only have what 15 fights and everybody tried to get him Muhammad Ali status when they would never give not one black person that title they would never give one black person that title because when Errol Spence was getting validation from Floyd Mayweather they was talking about how he didn't fight nobody and when you guys want to talk about Vasily Lomachenko resume i just want you to go down person by person boxer by boxer fighter by fighter right and let me know all the hall of famers that he has on his record on his resume because gary russell jr not a hall of famer nicholas walters not a hall of famer campbell is not a, a hall of famer anthony crolla is not a hall of famer Jose Pedraza is not a Hall of Famer. Jorge Linares is not a Hall of Famer. Miguel Mariaga is not a Hall of Famer. Jason Sosa is not a Hall of Famer. And Roman Martinez is not a Hall of Famer. So when you give him all-time great status, right? Because if you if you go to all those boxers that I just named, you would never call them a Hall of Famer. You would not say that they're a Hall of Famer. How can he be a Hall of Famer when he hasn't beat Hall of Famer caliber of fighters? And some people might say, well, how does Devin Haney be become in this discussion? Well, put it like this. I believe that Devin Haney will become a Hall of Famer. I believe possibly Teofimo Lopez will be a Hall of Famer. I think that all of them really, except for Ryan, Ryan uh, Garcia, will be Hall of Famers. I do. I think they will go on. Yes, some of them will have a, a loss on their records, but I think they will go on to be Hall of Famers. And when you look at Floyd, Miguel Cotto was a Hall of Famer. Sugar Shane Mosley was a Hall of Famer. Man, I don't want to say Canelo, but I would have to say Canelo, a future Hall of Famer, even though he's basically uh, spearheading his own, his own uh, type of uh, legacy. But you, I just named at least three fighters that will be Hall of Famers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for Floyd Mayweather. He don't have that. He don't have those Hall of Famers on his on his resume. So that's how I, I don't understand how they give him hard time great. And then just to, to kind of parallel him, Lomachenko with Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to say this. Floyd Mayweather went up from uh, a lower weight class all the way up to welterweight. Why can't Vasil Lomachenko? Because Floyd was still the, the smaller person outside of when he fought um, Manny Pacquiao. And remember, Manny Pacquiao started off at 105, was a small uh, was a small fighter, and went all the way up to welterweight and fought him. So why can't Vasily Lomachenko? People want to say how small he is. Nobody talked about how, how small a person like Manny Pacquiao was or Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd Mayweather beat um, Manuel Marquez. He's a Hall of Famer. Pacquiao beat him. He's a Hall of Famer. Pacquiao beat Miguel Cotto. He's a Hall of Famer. So if y'all going to give him Hall of Famer type of uh, uh, status, let's let's have him fight, you know, all the top the top tier fighters. And, and matter of fact, I would like to see him go up and fight a person like Terrence Crawford. And then we'll see how much of a pound for pound he truly is. Because right now, 
you know, even though he's not acting like it at this moment, Terrence Crawford is the pound for pound, you know. And if y'all have a problem with it, the the fight can definitely be by the catch weight and make the fight happen. But that's all I got for now, man. It's your guy, Ken the Guru, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. I'm out.